down to eat with me. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Enjoy watching, y'all. Now let's eat. Hey, roomies. How you doing? If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here a while, then you know it's time for the countdown. All right. I'm going to start with the lasagna. Get that on there. Three, two, one, go. It's really good. You know, this is my first time having uh, lasagna with sausage bits on it. This this came out good. Keisha did a wonderful job with this. You know, the first time I ever ate lasagna, you guys, I have a funny story about it. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to introduce the pull apart bread. I'm gonna do a countdown for that too. Three, two, one, go. That was really good. That's, a, that's the first time I've ever had pull apart bread. I've never had it before. So let me tell you a story about the lasagna. Well, not this one, but the first one I ever had. So. When I, my, uh, when I moved in with my ex, she had bought lasagna, well, she didn't know how to really cook. So, she bought lasagna, the Stouffer's lasagna from the store. And let me tell you, she left me in charge of the lasagna. She tells me to put it in there. I think she said an hour, an hour and a half. But after I put it in, I forgot it was in there. And I was left in charge to watch it. So then when it was finally time to take it out, after about, I was supposed to leave it in, I think it was like an hour. But instead we left it in an hour and a half. It was, let me tell you, it was burnt. And it was a bad experience that first time eating lasagna. I thought, I thought to myself, I do not like store bought lasagna. I'm not reading it from the restaurant. But I said to myself, I don't like lasagna. Like at the time, I did not like, I did not like the taste, the, I did not like the texture. Rumi's, I'm just making a mess. But then, let me tell you, the second, the second time I had lasagna, It was at uh it was at Keisha's uncle's house for Christmas. His wife had made lasagna and I fell let me tell you, I fell in love with it. 
it was real cheesy and I love a lot of cheese. And Keisha, she had made her, uh, she made her vegan lasagna one time. I tried Keisha's vegan lasagna. And then when we went to Houston, somebody else had made vegan lasagna. It was good. But it was nowhere near, to me, it was nowhere near as good as Keisha's lasagna. Because when Keisha makes her lasagna, she did it with a lot of cheese, and I, and I love a lot of cheese. Like, I did not know that you could... I did not know that people put sausage on lasagna. This is the first. Like, I know you can eat lasagna with spinach. I've seen that at the grocery store. Like, uh... Lasagna with spinach. And I always look at it like... I always look at it like, ugh. I would not eat that. I like vegetables. Rumi's, I like vegetables, but I don't like it. I'm kind of picky with it about my pasta. They tell me, how many of you guys like vegetables on your pasta? Let me tell you, this cheese bread is to die for. Look at how good that looks. It's like, it's filled with cheese, especially more cheese in the middle. I'll, sh I'll get to that in a little bit. All right, let me show you this piece. All right, this one has even more cheese in it. Look at that. It kind of tastes, it has a taste to it, like, It has like a, like a Parmesan, I don't know if it's like a Parmesan or Alfredo taste, but it has like a garlicky taste to it too, that's, that's what I like about it. I'm gonna have some more lasagna. This. This lasagna is amazing. Akeisha, she really ended herself with this. I'll put this on a napkin so we don't mess up the table. to cut lasagna because you never because you cut it and it just comes all apart it just comes all apart I'm sitting here trying to cut it like a lady and it comes all apart on me okay that is, that is delicious Now, doing these videos, you do, <clears throat> I probably will most likely gain weight from it, but let me tell you, I don't care. Because this food is so good. Only thing I gotta do is just work harder at the gym. I think from now on, I'm gonna start like working out with uh, Keishan Jr. when uh, they work out with Lawrence. Because a couple times when I've been at the gym. I was tired and didn't feel like working out with them. So I just worked out by myself. 
sometimes with Lawrence, I have trouble keeping up with him. I have my days where I'm ready to just give out and stop after like 30 minutes. Like, uh, I did this one thing. Lawrence had me do this one thing. It was, um, it was like marching, but it wasn't really marching. It was like, it was running, but you got to run in place and you got to kick your knees up to almost like your chest. I had trouble doing that because I did that. The last time I did that I was about 22. And it was when I used to watch the Insanity Shanti Insanity tapes when I would do that. When I wasn't able to go to the gym. I'm just making a mess everywhere when you go. I apologize for that. I'm trying to keep this lasagna together. So when I was trying to run in place, I realized my legs were not as strong. They're not as strong as they used to be. I was surprised. But like when I used to do the, the Shanti workouts, back when I was living with my grandma, I was only able to get through those workouts because at the time I was messing around with those, uh, those five hour energy drinks. So if I tried doing a work, uh, insanity workout without them, I'll quit. I would quit after 10 minutes. I would just like pause the tape. I'll pause and then stop and get water. This lasagna is just the bomb, you guys. It's like it'll have you, it'll just have you speechless. Like, seriously. I get all that sauce on there. Try to get this on this fork, you guys. I love lasagna like you have no idea. I didn't know I liked it until uh, until I ate Keisha's cooking. That's how I knew I liked lasagna. Cause I used to always say I don't like the texture. But you got certain people that can cook lasagna and certain people that can't. Like the sausage on this is really, it just makes the whole thing. There was this one show I used to watch. It was called, uh, the show was called What I Like About You with uh, Amanda Bynes. And in the show, in the episode, In the episode, she was like a, she worked like next to the chefs and her, uh, her sister's boyfriend got her the job at his restaurant. And the chef couldn't figure out why everybody kept telling them that they didn't want the lasagna, why they kept sending it back. And so in the show, Amanda Bynes, Tells the chef, she's like, well, I don't know. Maybe it's the maybe it's the walnuts that you put in there. That's probably why they're bringing it back. And she told she made the mistake of telling the chef that uh, 
that his boss mentioned that behind his back. And so the chef calls the boss in there to ask if that's true. And he was so upset that he left, the chef left, and told his, whole crew, his, uh, his helpers to all come with him. So they had no one to cook the food at the time. So they end up having um, like a whimsical Wednesday where they just did uh, where they just had like uh, Belgian waffles. They just had breakfast for dinner because nobody knew how to cook the lasagna. But when it comes to when it comes to a chef, the moral of that story is that sometimes you shouldn't always tell the truth. Like like with some people, you can't really you can't tell them that their cooking is bad. I'm sorry guys, this cheese bread is just miraculous. It tastes like it's been made in a restaurant. I think I'm going to dip it in the sauce and see how that tastes. That's really good. You should do a good job with those. A wonderful job. Well, you guys, I'm full. I had so much fun eating and talking with you guys. But now it's time to close out. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, y'all. We love you. Remember to live, love, and laugh. Bye, y'all.